Hello YouTubers, friends and subscribers. This is JW Solar USA. I'm here to um, do a video how to install um, uh, uh, Wizbank Junior to a 500 amp hour slash 50 millivolt shunt. So we have three things, four things sure you, you have to consider when you're trying to install or you want to put together a Wizbank Junior to a shunt for a, a Midnight Solar Classic. You have to have a flat, a Phillips, and um, the screws that came with uh, the Wizbank Junior with a kind of extensions, uh, higher end and lower end. A 500 amp hour uh, uh, shunt. And of course, the, the man himself, the Wizbank Junior, right here. I will show you guys how these, how to go about it. And um, please stay tuned and um, subscribe to this video. This is very important. We don't have a lot of videos out there how to install a Wizbank Junior for uh, my Wizbank Junior to a classic. Okay? Okay, now we're going to start the process here. So here is our shunt. It's really pretty. Nice and uh, gold color. It comes with the two screws here. That's going to be going here to mount this unit anywhere you want it. Okay? So take a look right here. It's 50 millivolt, a Deltec. That's the, um, I think is the, the brand, a Deltec, Deltec, D-E-L-T-E-C, and uh, 50. There's a 500 amp shunt right here. See that? There we go. It's a nice unit right here. So these little fins are the ones that um, really um, read the current going through okay so this is how you're gonna do it this side here this side here this is where this is where your um, your inverter your charge controller and all your loads excuse me all your loads going from here so this side is for the battery. The battery cable comes here and pass the current here with this little fins, with the help of these little fins to regulate, to give you the accuracy, how many amps you're pulling from your batteries. So this side is for the load. You have another two sets of uh, screws right there. So if you look at it, look at it the whisk bank junior is going to be mounted onto these two uh screws right here okay and it's going to be facing that way you want the um um purple wire to go that way point that direction because that's where the battery is going to be uh, uh, uh um, tied into if you look at it see 500 if you can read backwards the 500 so this is where your battery tied and this is going to be your load side okay all right here is the Wisbank junior it's a little device but very intelligent 
uh, device. He knows what to do and very smart. It has a, a circuitry board mounted into that thing. For those of you who um, never seen a Wizbank Junior, it's just a little piece, a little uh, a little piece of board here and all with uh, components built into it. And um, this is the sense wire. This is the side that's going to go on the auxiliary two of your um, Midnight Classic 150. So see that this unit and this wire attached to your auxiliary two aux two okay well i'm going to demonstrate how you mount this one the whiz bank junior comes with two kind of extension um like a a long and a short um aluminum spacer they call them right here so this one's you use for um, mounting your Wizbang Junior to this point. But today we're not going to be using these screws here. We're going to take them out. And this guy is going to be mounted this way. With the help of these spacers right here. But for our application today, we want the Wizbang Junior to be kind of a little bit higher. So we're going to use the... Um, this one's kind of the spacers are a little bit um, higher, nor the shorter ones. We have two set of them. It depends for your application what you want to use. Okay. So those are the screws. Those are steel uh, screws and uh, aluminum spacer right here. These are the ones we're going to be using instead of this. This one's going to. Um, I'll keep these ones for maybe I have to use another application someday. And here we're going to use this flat. To be careful um, and remove these uh, screws. And it has uh, a washer and a lock nut, a lock washer. So you take these ones out, save these ones, don't throw them away. Okay, what we're gonna do, we still have to use the these um, lock washers right here, we need those for the application. So this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna use this here and there. And the Wiz Bank Junior is gonna go that way. Remember, it has to face, the proper wire gonna be facing that way. And here comes the lock knot. These ones here, we drop them right there because they're going to be coming here as a, a washer. Okay, so so we take this one we already installed first and put it right here. halfway and the other guy put this one down set this one down and grab this guy little guy put it to the screw and uh Make sure it's aligned properly with the, the hole right here. And we're going to do the same thing. Back to this side. And now, you know, it's almost there. Here comes the Phillips now. You have to have the right tools. At least you can able to do the job right. You don't want to use the wrong tools because you don't want to hurt this uh, Wiz Bank Junior. 
I suppose it's a delegate uh, device. So and tight this end. And this end not too much just try and make sure that it's there it's not gonna fall off voila with bank jr it's already installed this is how it looks like and this wire is gonna be going to your, your aux 2 on your outback oh uh, sorry it's gonna go on your classic 150 and uh, remember, this side here is the load, this side here for the battery. That's why this wire has to face point that way, so they have to go the same direction. See that? So this is how you install a Wisbank Junior to a Classic. For battery compensation, it's it gonna give you all accurate reading. Tells you what you, uh, your batteries, uh, state of charge, the SOC, the amps coming off from your battery, the amps coming off from the solar ray from the charge controller to the batteries. How much you taking out? How much you you bringing out? So this is how it looks like. Kind of little nice glue they put on this stuff right here it's kind of heavy duty so I hope you guys learned something and for do for those of you that already um, had a uh, Wisbank Jr already installed one before well if there is any uh, difference with my uh, presentation uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you learned something today thumbs up and subscribe well, if you don't learn anything today, well, maybe it's not important for, for, for you right now, but when the time comes, you get a classic, you just have to tap into these videos and see how everything works. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys, and uh, at least it's going to help somebody else They're about to go through the process someday with the Wisbank Jr., all right, it's all installed. I will show you guys. I'm going to be making another video how the programming goes and all the good stuff. Thank you for watching. And the Wiz Bank Jr. is made by uh, Midnight Solar. You can see right there, like a moon face right there. So. So it has a flashing light here when it's connected. You're going to see like a, a green light flashing. It's going to tell you if it's, it's like it disconnect. And uh, you're going to see all kind of um, information this little guy can do. So this is how you install a Wisbank Junior to a 50 millivolt 500 amp shunt. Made by um, 500 millivolt. Dell Tech 500 amp shunt D118 215. See that? Well, another video again for you guys. And uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment. If you haven't been a subscriber yet, please do follow this channel for more video, more inspirational stuff, educational, and with more positive attitude and this is how we're going to do it to help people all over the world everywhere so it makes it easier for the manufacturer to do all the videos and we're going to do it for you guys make sure you do the right thing if you don't know what to do always look for these videos online on youtube and um, you will never go wrong Make sure that a lot of good channels out there follow the uh, the right channels because some channels are there that um, it depends. Excuse me, it depends how um, you do things. Thank you and have a blessed day. Subscribe and thumbs up. Bye now.